put an Amazon affiliate link to this down in the description. But this is my new Max Hall receiver that as you can see has multiple adjustment positions on it. So this will allow me to use the Polaris Ranger to tow the log splitter and get my height figured out for the log splitter so that it's not a downhill slant. Hi, Chad with Purple Car Life. In a previous video, you saw Jennifer and I cut up this fallen tree. It's gonna be a little bit of a test since the Ranger doesn't have four wheel drive yet, but we're gonna to try to load these logs, at least some of them into the bed of the Ranger, get out of this muddy mess and get up to where we can start splitting them. It's a pretty windy day here in Northwest Pennsylvania. Sudden uptick in the temperature, it's in the 60s. So there may be some wind noise. I'll try to cut that out in editing, but I apologize up front for the wind if you can hear it on camera. So I got some loaded in the Ranger. Still about seven pieces there in the woods. But that's a pretty good load. That's all we'll do to start with. selected a new place here to start our firewood stack. This will get southern sunlight, a little bit more wind than our other location. Jennifer wants them to be on skids. She doesn't, she's not a fan of the IVC totes. I think what we'll do is just stack it. She's going to show us how to stack them nice and neat so they look nice and then we'll load them up and haul them whenever we need them in the house rather than moving the totes around. As you can see, I'm no good at stacking. I've said it in several other videos. That's why I like the IVC totes. It forces them into a frame and the stacks stand up inside that frame. You can see if I continue this, this stack won't last here more than a week, especially in the wind. It's slippery. I don't ever get nice square clean cuts when I'm splitting. So I can't make, you know, that cross hatch log cabin over here that you see other people make. I'm not sure how they do it. Certain people just have certain limitations and one of my limitations is obviously stacking wood. I'm no good at it, I can't get it to look good. Jennifer will point out very quickly that my stacks look horrible. So we'll do the best we can here. I think she'll probably come over and help clean these up, get them stacked how she'd like to see them. Because as we can see, these are slippery and uneven and they're not gonna stand up.
gonna just stop here for a minute and show you. This piece has a lot of dormant wood-eating ants in it. You can see they are alive, they do move around. They're down in that hole. So I don't wanna stack this with the rest of my firewood because those, those ants will carry through all the firewood. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the burn pile. These are pieces that we don't want in our firewood stack. So you can already see all the longer this lasts that I'm going to tear it apart, put it back together. So again, if you find that you've got ants in any of the pieces that you're cutting or splitting, I know some people might say, ah, oh, it's no big deal, they're dead. Well, these ones are just dormant. They are still alive. They do move around, especially now that they're in the sunshine. And it's just not worth the risk. You know, not only will they infest the rest of your firewood stack, but then if you do like us and you carry them into the house to burn later, when they're sitting there, in our case in the basement, those ants can awaken and travel throughout your house and you don't want these wood-eating ants living in your house so i always say if you find a piece with ants in it even if they look dead it's not worth the risk just burn that piece outside you can see our new firewood location does get a good amount of sun it's not a super sunny day today but every time the sun does perk up i can see just like right there it's hitting that firewood nice and hard. So that'll help dry it out a little faster. We're also again facing south. We have good wind. You can probably hear the air today moving around. It is a wind watch advisory today here in Northwest Pennsylvania. So we're getting more wind than normal. It's nice to get this location finalized. Like I said earlier in the video, Jennifer's not a fan of the IBC totes. She just doesn't think they look good. And even though they make it easier for me to move and stack the wood, she'd rather not see them. So we're gonna try this location out back here, stacking on pallets. I'm still no good at stacking. I don't know how long that's gonna stand up. She said she drives by houses all the time with beautiful stacks of firewood. I'm just not that, I'm just not that guy. I'm no good at stacking firewood. So hopefully she figures out how to do it and she can make our stacks look a lot better. I'm still not exactly sure what kind of firewood this is even after splitting it. It looks a lot like maple to me, but it's stringy. So for the second day in a row, it was nice to just be outside enjoying the weather. It is in the 60s. I'm actually a little bit warm here today. It was nice to get the splitter out and do some more splitting with the split fire. Got our new firewood location here. You can see the sun hitting this nice and bright. Hopefully that'll dry out in about a year. If this video entertained you or informed you in any way, give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel, and we always like knowing that you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again the next time. If you've got firewood with ants, just burn them outside.